Today, I've got a rapid fire episode of SpaceX in the news for you, so let's light this candle. After our show on Tuesday, SpaceX continued their testing of B7 on the can crusher mount used to simulate Raptor thrust. The following day, an ambient nitrogen test was conducted on the Super Heavy booster, and on Thursday, a cryo test was performed on the lower liquid oxygen tank. Look closely and you can see ice falling off the hull, indicating a possible moment when Raptor thrust was being simulated on the rocket. Things must have went well because it appears this morning that SpaceX is prepping Booster 7 for a move back to the orbital launch table. Concerning Falcon news, SpaceX is now targeting Saturday morning for liftoff of Enroll 85 from Vandenberg to allow teams additional time to complete pre-launch checkouts and data review. Again, we'll go live on Rumble for this one, link below in the description. Now it's time for today's honorable mention. After two unsuccessful attempts at completing a full wet dress rehearsal of SLS, NASA completed their third unsuccessful attempt yesterday. Around 9.30 in the morning, slow fill locks loading into the core stage began, but after solving a couple issues they encountered, operations were halted once more after 1 p.m. when liquid hydrogen was introduced into the core's fuel tank and a surge in pressure was detected. After fixing that problem, a leak was found in the core's umbilical line, leading to a scrub of the test around 5 p.m. Eastern. Well, that's all I have for you guys today in this video, but I did cover Elon's hostile takeover of Twitter on my other channel, Cloud Liquor. So if you're looking to catch up on more current related events, you can check it out. Have a nominal weekend. See you tomorrow. Until that time, Godspeed.